Okay, this is the reading for Cancer for March 2021. Uh, I got a lot of decks here I'm working from. Dreams of Gaia, Wisdom in the House of Night, TLC for the Soul, Divine, Tarot of the Divine, and then the Astrology. I was going to top up at the end there with the TLC. Okay, so we'll get into it. The first card uh, from the Dreams of Gaia uh, deck here is... The mother card. So the mother, that's akin to, um, yeah, the empress. Um, give me a moment here. <laughs> Interesting how they make me feel different things from the card here. But I'm getting a sense of um, pessimism or, like her face, if you look at it, kind of looks like, yeah, go ahead, make my day kind of thing. Like she's got this front she's coming off with. Now in here she's pregnant, so that it speaks to fertility. Got to say that. They're making me aware of the mushrooms, which um, in the realm speaks to spirituality. So there may be a sense here that... <laughs> The cancers are kind of growing in their spirituality, but what they're seeing outside of themselves are kind of being, what's the word? <laughs> they're not in disbelief about it to a pessimistic, in a pessimistic way. Like, are you kidding me? Like, like we're all evolving here. Like, why is this still going on? This is kind of the essence I'm getting. So we may be having this kind of an attitude with a partner or someone in our midst or someone in our field of friends, this kind of thing. So there's a sense of evolving here, but maybe someone in our group, there's a sense we're not evolving at all. In fact, we may be taking a step backwards or, you know, with what we talk about, like you're really do you're going to say something like that with, everything that I've, you know, this kind of thing, like a disbelief, like somebody's kind of off their rocker saying something to the cancer and they're just not have, well, I don't think they say anything from it, but the looks going across the table kind of thing are just there. It's like, are you kidding me? Like you're going to stand in front of me and say, this is what I'm getting. So there's a different energy for the mother. And nonetheless, the turtle again, emphasized here, slow to act is what they're saying like they they may have a lot of sparks going off on the inside rolling in the eyes pulling a muscle rolling the eyes kind of thing but uh not a lot of action because of this but it's not uh people will know by the look on their face that they're not you know what's going on kind of thing so <laughs> it's a different energy there okay next card middle row here we have heaven and earth and that really speaks to now we have the mother she looks very earthen in her energy there now when we move to heaven and earth this really does talk to me about expectations things that we have in our mind set and what is in reality i think i feel like for this cancer reading and i am getting a feminine energy here uh in disbelief of what again what's going on in our physical universe like we are more evolved than this we know better than this like this is what i'm getting um but yet in our real world we're coming across errors here in other people to a high degree that it's um i don't know it's either shocking to the cancer or just um getting taxing to deal with this at this point like we're rolling our eyes and going oh my god like so it's a great disdain <laughs> to the heaviest degree here. Um, so there's a great... <laughs> there, yeah. I, I have to laugh or I'm going to cry for that. There's a great um, di um, distortion between what we see or want, the idealism in our mind, and what is actually in front of us in the universal realm. And again, that can go in any area. Okay, next card. Um, yeah, the hero. This is interesting. A moment. I said, is this the cancer's energy? They go, that's what we can grow into. But if we do not speak of it, we uh, do not create. Now the hero, that's 12 of fire 
They're making me aware of the three plumes from the peacock, because to me, the peacock is high on ego. Um, but the rays of the sun are attached there, right? So there's stuff here in our ego making us happy. This may be, um, give me a minute here. <laughs> oh, the bear treads forward powerfully, right? Without, uh, they may not be the fast, I mean, they can go fast under pressure. But they may not be that fast, but they go forward um, quite powerfully. And the sense here is... Yeah, really what I'm getting, it's hard to translate. It's like there's an energy that the Cancer is sitting in. They want to transform. What's the energy they're sitting in? Passivity. Letting things go. Not speaking from what their truth is. What's the energy they want to go into? Is starting to put people in their place. Starting to say people that don't wash with me. Instead of pulling a muscle on the eye roll, we actually say, you know what, that's garbage, and walk away. Gaining some self-respect. I guess we're going to learn from Capricorn here a little bit. Gaining some self-respect as they move forward and they become the hero of their own lives. Um, they're going, there is, there is a problem here with how we conceive conceive how we view our ego okay just give me a minute this might be a little deep because they they feel like they can't uh okay because the ego is very for the cancer here we may be fluffing our ego but we feel we can't do it if we start putting people down okay just bear with me has that to do with okay just okay <laughs> They're trying to translate something I don't understand is why. Um, so the ego, we get great pride, right, from our ego. And the ability to stay quiet gives us a reward with the ego. Because when we stay quiet, then we bring it out. Our ego brings it out amongst others. And then we kind of, <laughs> you know, uh, bring it forward to be looked at. They're going, we don't need an audience. We just need to have one person uh, recognize what we say to create a boundary. We don't need 10 people. So we may be, um, <laughs> maybe saving up our disses until we have an audience and then we let her blow in front of five instead of just directly addressing that person. That's what they're trying to say here. Now, <laughs> yeah. And that makes them happy. Why? Because it's kind of like we're hitting someone when they're down. Um, it's like we get more of a feed off of that. Okay. Yeah, these are not good <laughs> in the scheme of things. But this is the way that the cancer's looking at it. Because if I have an audience of five putting this person down, well, maybe they're going to listen to me. Maybe they're going to change their behavior. Because if I tell them, they're not going to listen. And they're going, it don't matter if you tell them and they don't listen. You remind them the next time that they run that track or they run over that line that you set. You just keep reminding them. Again, if they act like a kid, treat them like a kid. And just, you know, don't expect them to be... Okay, so moving on to that. That bear, there's a forceful energy here, but we're not speaking enough is really what I'm getting from the universe. They want you to speak more from your truth. Because um, this thing of, of sideswiping people with the truth when you feel it's right may not be truly karmically balanced. Because we're going to get payment for that or lack of, you know, or debt to that uh, in a degree that we don't want to pay that off. We don't want to be sly in hitting people up, but, uh, you know, understood. So again, heaven and earth, I think... Yeah, it, it's a sense of pride and ego here. We're trying to protect that. And they're going, has nothing to do with that. What we need to make a priority is our uh, our own boundaries. That's what we need to make a priority. 
that's it. And if someone's treading on our boundaries, we tell them. And if they do it again, we remind them. And if we do it a third time and we have no consequence, then expect to get more of it. Otherwise, why have the boundary? Okay, so somebody needs to hear that. Okay, next. <laughs> the mother, on top of her. What do we get for the energy from the Wisdom House of Night? We get the High Priestess of Spirit. And if you look closely into this card, <clears throat> hopefully you can see it in the way that I set it up there. It really does speak to higher energies, um, guides, past, loved ones. Um, really? People that are, we are guided by, universal energies along with uh, family and, and that has passed over. This is a high impact on us or one that we should tap into more often. <laughs> um, there's a sense that there's wanting a connection here. I feel for some cancers there is. We are tapping in and for others we're just not. Um... Okay, they're going, well, we tap in to light pleasantries, but we won't tap into instinct and lessons and whatnot. We will not take advice from our ones that have passed in that way. But we'll say, oh, miss you, love you, you know, do you remember when, you know, the memories will go over. But uh, as for life lessons, we will not take advice. So this may be <clears throat> boundary is set in that way. Uh yeah, so just be aware of that, is to open up the field in more areas than just, I mean, it's great to connect with loved ones, but sometimes they are coming through to help us attain a goal that we're after, and they can see, they can see some things. Um, I think there's certain, depending on how you were treated by the spirit and uh, back and forth, I feel like they can gain more access or limited access to your field. Uh, some, some kind of play, from what I'm told by my the energies I deal with, uh, some just play out like it it would have on Earth. Like if they were still here, that's how they proceed. So it'd be an opinion, um, and some see from a higher vantage point, right? Okay. So next, heaven and earth again. What do we have in our, our mind as an ideal that we want and what is actually in front of us? What do we get to expand on that? <clears throat> we get confidence, yeah. I feel like there's a great confidence that wants to come forth. <laughs> but it's it's marred by our ability to speak from it. We do not, we hold back so much that um, it really has us, there's a percept, perception outside of us. So others perceive us as not being confident. Why? Because we don't speak up. That's what they're saying. Okay. But yet we have it inside of us. We just don't say so. Now this may be a tactic they use to underestimate. If people underestimate me, that's fine. Uh, but they're going, no, we need to be truly who we are. So we, because those frustrations that we're having, in our life right now with the people rolling the eyes and you know pulling muscles rolling the eyes because these people aren't getting it they're not getting it because they're not told by you you need to speak up to them to say don't do this or whatever and the least that they can do is not do that in your presence and the most that they can do is change their behavior if they want to this is what they want you to start doing. Why? Because it'll make your life that much better instead of sitting there. At the end of the day, if we have all these people that we run into and all these eye rolls that we have to do and all of these, you know, like grunts under our breath and shaking of our head or nodding of our shoulders, when we can speak of it and then it can be dealt with no more, meaning it can be out of our sphere and we don't have to deal with it all week, a month, all year. This is kind of the release that they want you to get through. There's a sense that we have that mothering energy, so the wisdom to know, but we're keeping it all inside, you know, or thinking about, oh, well, I wish things were a certain way outside of me, but they're not. So the confidence here wraps up in the, in the distortion between our fantasy and our reality. Fantasy is we want things perfectly done and da-da-da. 
the reality is we're not going outward to help anybody change themselves if they choose to do that and we're not going outward to make our lives better if we choose to do that da 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 i don't know if that translated well but anyway the hero <laughs> On top of the hero, we have conclusions, 12. Yeah, so there's a sense here, and I do get a great frustration point here. Like, we're just so frustrated <laughs> with an energy that we're dealing with. It could be a friend, could be work, could be partner, could be anything. We really, uh, there's a conclusion that needs to happen or wants to happen or is in the midst of happening. Uh, we may not have the confidence to pull it off to deal with it in a proper way, to bring it to a conclusion. Uh, the sense here is we have to be the hero of our own life and close the book ourselves, this kind of thing. What are you doing? Um, yeah, so we'll go uh, next row. Okay, so on the High Priestess of Spirit and the Mother Energy, we have the Tower, and that's usually some shock and awe. Now give me a moment here. I'm not too sure where that sits. Usually the tower comes in when there is instinct here that we've been downloaded, but we just don't come from it. We choose other directions. So the universe comes down and says, no, this way, this way, you know, kind of tries to funnel you in the right direction. So that's the tower energy on top of the heaven and earth and the confidence. Again, I feel like We may be inadvertently not doing anything for our confidence here. We could do a lot more. One, by keep putting boundaries up to these people that are frustrating us to no end. Or limit our time with them to a degree that we just don't have to limit our time so we don't have to deal with, you know, with that frustration no more. Because that in itself can be draining. So on top of the confidence, we have the two coins. And the two coins is about juggling, you know, trying to keep too many things afloat. Um, this could deal with work and life balance, usually. Um, yeah, trying to keep too many things afloat. you got to drop one thing to deal with another. Otherwise, n nothing gets your full attention and nothing is done properly. Um, on top of the conclusion and the hero, we get the ten of coins and that is about family hmm and stability um, yeah financial stability within a family unit now it's interesting to me because they're saying once we make the conclusion this will become more uh, fruitful like it's almost like our stability hinges on a conclusion of something here on the conclusion it helps our finances or our um, it just helps yeah and we have to gain the confidence to move forward and, and close a chapter here now it could be very well a relationship could be a job could be something that really go to the area that frustrates us the most there it is that's the area if it's work then it's work a job that needs to end or something like we have to move into a different direction there ten of coins comes after the conclusion so it's almost like we have to end something in order for things to go back to normal I'll be wary of that in a job direction, no matter. Times are different. So, last line here with the chakra wisdom. What do we get on top of the mother and the spirits and the tower? We have strength. Well, the tower will fall and it, it could be shocking and whatnot. Um, the sense here is that we're going to gain strength through it, no matter. It is going to create strength for us that this tower falls. The universe is going to step in here and il illuminate things. But the, the sense I'm getting here is um, I feel like the cancer may be sitting here going, okay, universe knowing the universe got to step in. 
now the tower comes in and and I'm getting from the cancer well that's not what I want cleared away I didn't want that cleared away I wanted something else uh, like there was an expectation here of something else going or something else just not what I expected really is what it is expect the unexpected right so this is the you know so this really is going to create an air of strength in you because we're going to have to build up in an area we didn't plan on rebuilding okay now on the heaven and earth the confidence the two coins juggling things in our life here we get the empress and that's about abundance and uh it also speaks in this deck to passing on the love cup this woman she's gonna pass on the empress she, what she knows about her heart and she's gonna go forward to the emperor and offer or whatever right because the emperor then the or the empress then the emperor comes next <sighs> We need to gain our strength here in the heart department. Because even this 42, this confidence card, has got a green hue to it. And what is that confidence of heart? And we start with heaven and earth. What we want in our mind is not necessarily what we're going to get in the grounded earth. We have to have a more grounded reality here. A more, not a more grounded reality, a more grounded... Um, fantasy like something that is more realistic there you go two coins about juggling it could be uh, you know our earth or sorry our our life work mix could be off we could be juggling too much work not in balance not in balance so you know something's got to give here we may have a relationship that's suffering because of our work balance whatever this kind of thing and the empress is about making our heart a priority and going outward that is the bottom bottom line and that may be where the cancer didn't that's where the cancer didn't the they didn't expect the change to be in the heart direction even though uh we may have wanted uh you know a removal of a partner or a removal of a friend or removal of a boss at work or something it's going to happen in a way that's different than they would have predicted Okay, again, because the universe knows the highest good, the greatest path, da da da. So the Empress, again, moving towards that heart so that we can learn how to use it and offer it outwards because that's really the, the basis of all of this is how to learn how to do that, gain strength in that in order to go forward. Now on the Hero card and the conclusion in the Ten of Coins, which I feel like if they become the hero of their life and close a chapter that needs to be closed themselves instead of waiting for others to close it, they can gain that, that ten of coins. On top of that, we get the judgment card. There it is again. We start with, and interestingly enough, there's a lot of violet and purple. The high priestess of spirit, again, connecting with those energies, right? Universal energies. 20 judgment here it's hearing the call the universe is saying we got to do something here we got to close something down shut her down and are we going to do that or not i feel there's great abundance i feel the ten of coins is if we shut this area that we need to shut down gets shut down by us if we wait for others to shut it down there's going to be another tower i feel like the tower's coming in uh to illuminate and again, it's in an area that we didn't expect. So it's very convoluted, very kind of cryptic what I'm getting here. But the bottom line is we got to learn how to use our heart. The center core here is we have a perception of what heart should look like outside of us. And we might be a little off there. We might not be very grounded with what we have. The two coins is about our life work balance. That has to be centered. That has to be, you can't be at work all day and expect to carry on a relationship. It's not going to work. Meaning, you can't, you know, work overtime and not take any time and expect a, re a relationship to f flourish in that energy. So the Empress knows that. She knows she needs to dedicate time to her heart. So she puts in the work and effort and then she goes forward balanced in that energy. Two coins is not balanced. That's where we are. And then the hero comes in and makes the decision to close a chapter that needs to be closed, whether it's behavior within a relationship or the relationship itself or behavior within people we're dealing with 
or people themselves. There's a call coming out to you instinctively telling you don't put up with this or put a boundary here or speak up which is really what I get highly in no matter. <laughs> I need to speak from our boundaries. So that is, yeah, judgment. We end on judgment and that's the call, the universal call, trying to warn you and say this is what we need and this is the scenario. So on we go, onward and upward, right? So the planetary card I get for you for March is the eclipse in Aries. Wow. Uh, 25 is the number. Collaboration is, is the word. Boost relationships through teamwork and compromise. And the sense here, um, again, yeah, a conversation needs to be started, period. I feel like there's no communicating. If we got a relationship here, we're in the eye rolling phase and, you know, which is not, does not bode well for future, um, you know, any future energy whatsoever. When we're rolling our eyes, we're trying to let go. <laughs> we, you know, and I was getting that a lot, like, oh, rolling the eyes like they can't believe. So one it makes me think that one, we don't communicate with our partner to let them know what we do and don't appreciate because they don't know or they would have resisted what they said or whatever. And then Secondly, if there's a, a sense here that, well, I'll tell them it don't matter, then maybe you're with the wrong person. Hey, you know, this person just does not jive from you, you know, with you for these things at all. So it's just not a scenario that we want to embellish. So we need to deal with that, right? Again, well, things are, are better in our mind than they are in reality. So boost relationships through teamwork and compromise. The eclipse is an Aries that stop and start energy. It means it may be quite hard to do this. Uh, collaboration is what they speak to, which is about joining, right? All these hands are joined together. It's teamwork, working together, da, da, da. Five and two is seven. Seven, to me, is an energy of good job, good work. And if we're collaborating with others, it's always good work. That kind of thing is what they're saying. Okay, so the TLC for your soul, what do we get? Willingness to grow. Pretty colors in this card. Outer voices declare, don't leap, hold back. This is interesting because that's not what I get. Ver verbally, I feel like we need to explode. But nonetheless, we'll see what they say. They challenge us. How can you be sure you'll make it? Yet inner voices are your soul and spirit whispering, leap. Because they are privy to the ways of the divine, they know that a net has already been placed to catch you. Yet you continue to dither between here and there, wondering, what was I thinking? It is fear that is trying ever more insistently to seduce you back into habitual surroundings. Pay it no attention. Your journey towards greater fulfillment has long ago started. Hmm. That's weird. They talk about journeying outward, but then they say, don't leap. Hold back. Give me a moment willingness to grow so the sense here if i were to take it just on this card alone and i'll go back to the reading it's almost like they're urging you to stay where you are but try and negotiate because we're staying as a silent partner uh but we're not heard or seen or you know uh because there's room to grow here is what i'm getting okay now beyond that Just a minute, I'm going to look over here because they want to say something else. Because again, what did we end on? We ended on collaboration. You know, in Clips and Aries, is, that's the fire energy to, to work to collaborate with this partner that we have. Now, maybe the end of the, ch the conclusion is to be silent. The conclusion is to be keeping your things to yourself. The conclusion is not standing up for yourself. That's the cycle that if we end that, we might get the Ten of Coins, which means happy family life and also abundant financially. And the judgment is hearing the call to say, negotiate, negotiate with this one. How do you be a hero? You become more active for one. Heaven and earth, again, we, we expect our partner to be a certain way, but we don't have any part in it. It's not right. 
That's what they're saying, okay? It's not my personal opinion, but this is kind of, they're saying as, how do I explain it? As a scenario, like it's just words that are coming out. Confidence. We need to gain confidence to get our life the way that we want it to be. How do we do that? We go outward and talk to the partner and lay down laws and then also discuss about what we will and won't put up with. And then if we, you know, after we negotiate and we decide that this person can't do it, then we can move on. Then you can leap. But they're saying, don't leap before you collaborate. There's a will. If you have a willingness to grow, you can make, you can make this work. But if there's no willingness to grow, then yeah, you're in the wrong place. But again, it comes down to your heart and opening it up to that other person. So there is a sense here for some that we may be in a place where we need to take our instinct. We need to take, you know, and it may even be advice from people that used to be alive about situations that we're dealing with that may be rumbling through our head and saying, you know, do this, do that, or, or whatever. But the tower is coming quite uh, quickly here. It may even have happened before you get a hold of this reading and it will gain you strength you need to speak up for one um kind of flip the energy because at first it's like ah, eh, we need to close the chapter what's the chapter i kind of left it open but i see more clearly after this second card the the willingness to grow has to be there if the willingness to grow is not there we just really won't make it in any relationship and the sense here is we may want to dump a relationship we have now but there is uh, breathing room there's growing room here but if we don't input to the partner we can't get that if you get my drift we can't get the feedback like it's like sitting in a restaurant and not ordering <laughs> like you ain't gonna get what you want <laughs> so just yes I'd like a burger and fries thank you oh, okay boom then you have to wait five minutes you know five ten minutes you got your burger and fries you're happy but if you're sitting there and you don't say I'd like to order nobody gonna Ain't nobody going to say nothing or do nothing to help you out with that. So that's the same way I feel about this relationship. Like, and then sitting there and getting mad because we're not speaking up. Like we didn't go to the counter and order it, right? <laughs> this is the thing. Order here and we're sitting at our table with our arms crossed going, hmm, I didn't get my hamburger yet. You know, that's what I'm getting. You're not getting served. Why? Because you're not communicating with your partner. I'm getting very frustrated. So I think the cancers are in a frustrated energy at this point so you'll have to beware um of how you approach your partner or get into a more zen state because i get very much um when i get into yeah about halfway through the readings and i get into their energy i get i start spitting out their energy and it's like yeah yeah okay that's not mine brush it off <laughs> But it's still the energy that's there and it's frustrating. So you have to, one, get your yourself down, uh, deal with the tower that's coming. And again, it won't be where we expect it to be because we want it. We really want it to fix itself and it's not going to. There's a sense I get. Just, they want it to fix itself and just go to work and uh, come back and it'll be all fixed and it's just not going to happen that way. So if you have a willingness to grow, this relationship is for you. And if not... Uh, we're going to have problems no less. They're going to get worse. Um, when you speak of collaborations, we have the Aries energy in Eclipse, which means it's it'll work for a bit, then it won't work. It'll work for a bit and won't work. But as you move in that consistent, in that energy, it will advance to a degree will, where it'll work more than it's not working. And right now it's working le uh, more, not working more than it is. Hopefully that trans right now, oh, man. Uh, so yeah, Cancer, that's your reading. Hopefully that helps you. It's kind of uh, trying to speak from it is harder than just seeing it uh, and trying to spit it into words. Sometimes we don't have words for certain things that I get to translate. Um, there's a way that we want our universe to be, but we're not at. Uh, we're not prepared to take appropriate action to do it is the thing we're resistant of going forward and explaining this to the partner either we've done it and we've not gotten results or you know we don't want to do it because we're just sick and tired or you know like that's the kind of energy like fed up i just don't want to da 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 this kind of thing so try whatever you can do to get into your heart zone and that will help you no less so willingness to grow collaboration five and two is seven 
man okay cancer <laughs> that's your energy for the month of march 2021 take care have fun and be kind